Hello Leo, welcome to your love reading. This is gonna be a you and them love reading where we'll look at what's going on in your connection, how do you feel about each other, and what's happening next. So let's jump right in. As always, Leo, this is a general reading. It will not resonate for every Leo watching, so just keep that in mind. If this doesn't resonate for you at all, then check out my playlist for Leo. I'll have it pinned in the comments for you. This reading will also be for those of you who are in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind, okay? All right, spirits, angels, guides, messages for Leo. What's going on for Leo at this time? Oh, I got three. I'm gonna put these, I'm gonna uh, put these back because I only want one. If either of those are meant to come out again, they will. For Leo, sir. Okay. We got engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So what this card is telling me right away is that this is not a new connection. There's probably already some sort of history here. This is could, this could be what you are desiring, you or your person, to move this into the next stage. We'll see. Tell me more about this connection, Spirit. For Leo. What do we need to know about this connection for Leo, please? We got imprisonment, number 29. All of the decks that I'm using will be uh, linked in the description box along with all of the rings that I'm wearing and anything else that you want to know. Okay, tell me more for Leo. One more, please. Official person. Number 22 and 29. Official person could mean anybody. It could mean like a, a boss, a judge. This person could be someone who has a authority. I'm thinking of like the emperor here. You could be dealing with someone that's some sort of leader, manager, someone who owns their own business, someone who has a lot of responsibility. Now with imprisonment, I'm getting that someone feels a bit stuck here. Maybe they need the help of someone official um, to help them out of a situation. Maybe they are needing to step into this emperor energy because I'm, I'm seeing the emperor here um, to get out of a situation. We'll see. Let's jump into your energy, Leo. Now I'm going to be setting a couple of cards here on this side for you. And then on the other side, it will be for your person. But feel free to flip it if it resonates more for you. Tell me about Leo's energy spirit. Tell me about Leo's energies in this connection. Staying right. Okay, there's... um. A lack of courage here for whatever reason maybe you're thinking of your person as someone who needs courage or maybe you need courage to do something let's see the sing stingray card could also be a card where there's a lot of people that are trying to get their way with you or perhaps they're um, uh, you could be manipulated by them or they could be their 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 expectations are a lot of pressure and so you bend to that pressure with the stingray tell me more about this energy or leo's energy spirit tell me about leo's energy sudden realization clarity truth epiphany a sudden realization has brought new clarity so you're starting to realize something very important about this connection or this person. So let's see what we get. For Leo. So what do we need to know about this connection and Leo's energies? Tell me about Leo's energies, please. Tell 
me about Leo. What is Leo thinking or feeling when it comes to this connection? What is Leo thinking or feeling? The Emperor Reverse. Yeah, I, there's a reason why I was thinking of the Emperor. Aries energy there. Tell me about Leo's energies, please. And, you know, some of you Leos are definitely dealing with an Aries because this happens to me so often in the Leo readings or in the Aries readings. I either mention Leo or Aries. Um, some of you are definitely dealing with an Aries. Okay. Tell me more for Leo. For Leo, what is Leo's energies at this time? The Magician Reverse. So there's something that you're not able to make happen here. Maybe because of a lack of courage or there's just, you could even be dealing with someone manipulative. That's not for all of you, but um, this is someone that feels, the Emperor Reverse feels powerless to bring back stability to a situation. Um, this is, could be somebody that's missing courage or doesn't have the authority to make something happen, isn't able to manifest and make something happen. Let's see. Why is the Emperor Reverse? Tell me more about the Emperor Reverse. Why is the Emperor Reverse? Okay, this is the Knight. Page, Page of Wands. Reversed. There's definitely something here that you cannot make happen, that you can't start. Tell me about the Emperor Reverse. Okay, we got the King of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. I feel this is regarding someone that you care about. Bottom of the deck, I have the Knight of Wands. Wanting something to happen for sure. And then the star, Aquarius energy. There's something that you want. Um, but you haven't been able to make it happen. and there there it is excuse me <laughs> the nine of swords is fear i'm also getting entrapment with this card just because when i see this person it's almost like they're looking for like out of the window for like where they want to be in this particular deck when we turn it around though the nine of swords is like blocking this person almost it looks like a jail, jail cell which if you look at this card very similar energies or you know that's what I'm this is how I am seeing it you know like someone wants to go out and venture out but can't and it could be because there's fear here of some sort tell me about the magician reverse why is the magician reverse four of swords reverse Why is the Magician Reverse? Three of Wands. A waiting period. Um, this is someone that wants to take action with the Four of Swords Reverse and the Three of Wands. There's a restless energy here. Maybe you've been waiting for something. Maybe you've been patient. Um, maybe your fear has kept you waiting rather than taking action. This could also be how you're viewing your person. Maybe you're viewing your person as someone who cannot, uh, find the courage to make something happen here. Tell me more about the magician. Nine of cups. Yeah, this is something that you want. A wish that you desire, um... Something that would bring a lot of satisfaction to you. But I have the Magician Reverse. So it's almost like you, you're not able to get what you want just yet. Seven of Cups. Oops. Seven of Cups um, Reverse in the top. And in the bottom of the deck, Three of Swords Reverse. And the Seven of Wands. There could be some sort of block here. In, uh, some sort of interception. Um, an interference. Sorry. Something could be interfering here. Okay, let's look at your person. 
a little bit more spirit. I can't grab my decks. I don't know what's going on. It's like I have butterfingers. Spirit, tell me about Leo's person. Tell me about Leo's person. Okay, that's way too many, but we have the fire ant drama. Tell me about Leo's person. Maybe you're realizing that your person is not going to make this happen. Or maybe you're realizing that you're in your own way here. Because there's been some sort of realization here. Tell me about Leo's person. Horse. This is um, movement, freedom, action. Bottom of the deck, the panther. This is a tower. The panther is like, kind of like there's destruction. Hmm. Let's get one more energy card. Tell me about this person that Leo is dealing with. Tell me about this person that Leo is dealing with. Tell me about this person that Leo is dealing with. Spirit. Ooh. Okay, we got parting ways, separation, divide, heartbreak. There's a disconnect between you. I don't know if this already happened or if this is something your person needs to do because I have it with the horse card, which is a card about taking action, movement, moving forward, being free. Just drop my notebook. Just please don't mind my, I cannot get it together right now. Everything's falling apart. <laughs> Maybe that's how this person feels. Like nothing can go right. Everything that could go wrong, goes wrong. Spirit, tell me more about this person that Leo is dealing with. Now Leo, remember that you can flip this if it resonates better for you. Tell me more about this person that Leo is dealing with, Spirit. What about their energy? Two of swords. Indecision. Blocked. Unsure. A difficult decision. Four of swords. So this person has is not taking any sort of action at this time. They're doing a lot of thinking. Planning, dreaming, healing, possibly focusing on themselves right now. But there's no actual decision that has been made. Why is the Two of Swords here? Why is the Two of Swords here? Page of Pentacles. This decision is about some sort of opportunity. Tell me about the Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords here? Knight of Wands, Reverse. Hmm. Got the sun reverse and the king of pentacles reverse. There's something hidden here. There's something off. King of pentacles reverse. Tell me about this King of Pentacles reverse. Where's the King of Pentacles reverse? Knight of Pentacles reverse. So what I'm getting here with the Knight of Pentacles reverse, Knight of Wands reverse, King of Pentacles reverse, and then I have the Page of Pentacles on this side. It's like this person can't decide what they truly want to do here. And I don't know if you know that because I have the sun reversed. So there's something hidden about this. Almost like maybe this person has told you one thing and is doing another. Or this person doesn't know themselves. 
They haven't had the clarity to make this decision. Notice how this Two of Swords, this is like at nighttime here with the moon out. You know, it's like this person's in the dark <laughs> um, with the sun reversed. And it's like they're not taking any action until they decide, basically. Or nothing's going to happen until they decide. Because I have the Four of Swords here. Now, with the Knight of Wands reverse, I have to mention this, and the King of Pentacles reverse, this person, hopefully, Leo, you're not dealing with someone who is stepping out on a marriage or a long-term commitment. I really hope that's not the case, because there's something off about that if that is the case. Tell me about the Four of Swords. What's the Four of Swords doing here? The full reverse. See, there's nothing happening here. There's hesitancy to even start something new. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Three of Cups reverse. There's something here in the way. Some sort of interference here. Or a delayed reunion. Tell me more about the Four of Swords. Three of Wands. You both have the Three of Wands. There's going to be like a waiting period here. There's, um, this person could be waiting for something before they make this decision. I feel like this decision is based off of, okay, so it's related to the past in some way. Ten of Pentacles. This decision could have something to do with a commitment or a family situation. Uh, something based off of tradition. Something based off of finances. But whatever this decision is, it hasn't happened. Now this Parting Ways card... There could just be a disconnect right now, but I, I'm picking up something to do with like the, the action or the decision is probably related to a separation. Whether that separation was in the past or right now, because it's affecting the way this person is seeing something. It's almost keeping them in suspense, like in uh, keeping them waiting around or keeping you waiting around. Tell me more about what this person is thinking or feeling when it comes to Leo or this connection spirit. I'm using my secret moon oracle deck here. What is this person thinking or feeling when it comes to Leo? I still check up on you. So you're not uh, really together right now what I'm getting they could be looking at you through social media I want you okay so there's desire here to make some sort to get something I want you I desire you at the bottom of the deck interesting so again there's this there's this um, energy that I'm picking up of someone that wants something and Maybe checks up on you, but hasn't done anything about it. <laughs> That's kind of the energy that I'm picking up here. And, you know, nothing's going to happen unless that's addressed. So let's see, where's all of this headed? Where's all of this headed, Spirit, for Leo? I'm going to pick a couple cards here for what's happening next. Spirit, what's next for Leo? What's next for Leo and this connection? What's next? The Magician. Ooh, it's upright this time. What's next? What is happening next in this connection? Queen of Coin. Queen of Pentacles. What's next? 
So there's some sort of manifesting, making things happen with the magician. What's next? Knight of coin. Interesting. Some sort of offer coming in. Something stable with the queen of coin, the knight of coin. The knight of coin is the slowest knight in the deck. We did have him here reversed. So it could be that there's delays here. And someone, um, and your person possibly making you this nice big offer. Because I have the page of pentacles upright for them. So it's almost like they can do the smallest things now. But nothing really big. Maybe that's what's going to ramp up next. Maybe they're waiting for something to happen. To take some sort of action that will bring about this knight of coin. I feel like this is something you've been manifesting or desiring. Um, it's like you've been wanting this person to get something done. <laughs> like put your money where your mouth is. It's kind of what I'm hearing here. So whatever imprisonment is going on, whether that's fear that someone is feeling or a situation that they're stuck in, um, th there needs to be something done about that because I have a feeling that you don't want to wait any longer. I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonated for you. If it did, leave me a comment. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all. I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.